The Holy Tales. This series of Bible stories is about the twelve disciples of Jesus. So, there will be twelve stories, and each story will tell us about the lives of the twelve disciples of Jesus. Oh, sounds interesting. But I have one question. What is the meaning of the word disciples? I don't understand. A disciple is someone who accepts to follow another person as a leader and helps him in spreading his teachings and philosophy. For example, the twelve disciples followed Jesus as their leader and helped him spread his teachings to the people throughout the world. Gotcha. So now, do we have your permission to start with the story, Gumbo? Oh yes, yes, of course. Go ahead, Holy. You have my permission. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Gumbo. So our first story is about Andrew, one of Jesus's twelve disciples. Andrew was one of the brothers of Peter. And was born to a man named Jonas. He lived in a town called Bethsaida in Capernaum, and was a fisherman by profession before Jesus called him to be his disciple and follower. Before becoming Jesus's disciple, Andrew was a disciple of John the Baptist. He had heard about Jesus from John's teachings about the Son of God coming to save the people. Once Andrew became Jesus's disciple, he went to places like Scythia, Greece, and Asia Minor to preach his teachings to the people. Andrew's main purpose in life was to bring others to follow Jesus, and that's what he did. And hundreds and hundreds of people soon became Jesus's followers. According to traditional stories. Andrew died a martyr in Achaia, Greece, in a small town called Patra. Andrew died soon after the then governor Epius's wife was healed and converted to Christian faith. And shortly after, the governor's brother too became a Christian. This angered Epius, and he arrested Andrew immediately, condemning him to die on the cross. Andrew was supposed to be crucified on the same shaped cross as Jesus. This made Andrew feel unworthy of him, dying on the same shaped cross as his master. He begged Apius to make his cross different. Apius agreed and made an X-shaped cross for Andrew, on which he was crucified. This cross is still called Saint Andrew's cross. Which is known as one of his apostolic symbols. Later, a symbol of two crossed fish was also applied to Andrew, because before becoming Jesus's disciple, he was a fisherman. So that was the story of Andrew. That was a really nice story, Holy. I am glad you children liked it. The Holy Tales. Yes, of course. Today, I'm going to tell you a story about the disciple called Jude. Nice. Come on, Holy. Go on with the story. Jude was another disciple of Jesus, who was also known as Thaddeus or Libius. He was born to a man called Cleophas and his wife Mary. He was also the younger brother of James the younger, and lived with his family in Galilee. Jude preached in places like Assyria and Persia, and finally died a martyr in Persia. Jude is often known as the man with three names by many scholars, and in the Bible, he is often referred to as Judas the Zealot. Jude was very intense as a person. And had very strong feelings about his own nation, and.
and he wanted the world to know about Jesus, not as a savior, but as a king. At the Last Supper, he asked Jesus, Lord, why do you want to reveal yourself to us and not the people? To his question, Jesus had explained to him how the way of love is much greater than the way of power. The way of love brought people closer to one another. Jude went to different places to preach about the Gospels. He even went to Edessa, near the Euphrates River, to preach. Wherever he went, he healed many people, and many of them soon became followers of Jesus in the name of the Master. Jude was killed with arrows at Ararat when he was traveling on a ship to other places from Edessa to preach. His chosen apostolic symbol was the ship because he was a missionary thought to be a fisherman. Mm, that was a good story, Holy. Yes, it indeed was. The Holy Tales. Who are we listening about today? Well, today's story is about Philip. Philip was one of Jesus' disciples who preached in Phrygia. He is known to have died a martyr in Hierapolis. Like Peter and Andrew, Philip too came from the town of Bethsaida, and he too probably was a Galilean fisherman. Philip's name comes to life in the Gospel of John, even though his name was recorded in the first three Gospels. The Gospel of John tells us that Philip was one of the first to whom Jesus addressed the words, Follow me. When Philip met Christ for the first time, he said to Nathanael, We have found him, of whom Moses and the prophets did write. Nathanael was skeptical about following Jesus, but Philip was not, not even once. He was known not to have a skeptic mind. He was simple and had abundant faith in Christ. Philip was a man with a warm and loving heart. He wanted to do a lot of things for others and help them. But he did not understand or see how it could be done. It is said that Philip died by hanging. And before he died, he requested his body to be wrapped in papyrus and not in linen like Jesus, because he thought his body was not worthy of getting treated in the same way as his Lord. His apostolic symbol is a basket, and most importantly, it was Philip who had stressed the cross as the sign of Christianity and victory. Whoa, that was a nice story. So it is because Philip that we have the cross as the sign of Christianity. Hmm, yes. Didn't you enjoy the story? My friends and I surely did. So, come back soon and keep watching. Bye! To watch more videos, please subscribe. Hidden plants and trees. On the fourth day, God created the sun to shine in the day, the moon and stars to come out at night. One day, Moses went to Mount Horeb with his sheep. There, God appeared to him as a flame of fire in a bush. Since there was no room anywhere else, they decided to spend the night in a stable. Here. Mary had her baby, Jesus. She wrapped him in a blanket and put him to sleep. He's got the whole